Hello everybody, uh, this is Robert here with more Rivet Training. Today we're going to uh, recover and use backup files exercise. So the first thing you want to do is we want to go to our startup screen and select the architecture template. Okay, now once we have this open, we want to do a um, Save as. So let's do this. Go to File, Save as, Project. Okay, now this little screen will pop up here. And I want to save this on my desktop. So I can find it nice and fast. Okay, now what I would like to do here is call this. Let's call this, uh, we can call this uh, backup file exercise. Let's just say backup exercise. Let's just call it backup for now. Okay. And then we want to go into our options bar. And right here, we want to say this, uh, we want to set this to five backups. Bet you always wonder what this was here for. Okay, some students prefer not to save any backups so that their flash drives don't fill up, you know. Normally they would put one or zero here. So for this exercise, we'll just, you'll need five and we'll say okay. And we'll save. Okay, You're saving there. Now, the first thing we want you to do in architecture tab, go to walls, and then go to the draw panel, and just draw four walls here, just anywhere in this. Okay, now once you have your four walls drawn, Let's save. Let's do a save. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to add a few more walls. Let's just add a wall, say here. Oh, we don't want to do this. Uh, we want to do the single wall with chain select attached. So let's go here, one there and back up okay and then we'll add a door here as well okay now we have that placed in our model and let's do let's save this one now Okay, now let's add a few more walls here. Let's go say from here down to here. And let's add another door. So what I'm driving at here is basically uh, you'll see that I'm saving each version so this is almost works like design options. We covered that in an earlier uh, video. I should have it there. And then we have this door and this wall. And let's save this as well. Okay, now, so now what we want to do now is let's just say we add, let's add some windows here to finish this out. Okay, let's add a window here and place one right here. And then we'll save this. Now, now if you select open. Sorry, this is not uh, 
Adobe. I don't know why I'm showing these on my screen. Somebody can let me know how to fix that <laughs> if they know. So here are the backups for several files that we created. See, there's our original, there's our first one, our second, and our third. So let's just open one of these up. This file, let's go open. Let's open number two. Yeah, let's open number three. Open number four. So I'll just window tile this so you can see. ZA. So these are the, the the files that we created. This is number four. That's the original backup, and that's three. So basically, that's all you do when you wanna. Uh, work with backup files. So that's basically why that number is there. So you can uh, recover and use backup files throughout your projects. So um, that's all for this exercise. I hope you got something out of it. It's a short and sweet one here. Uh, for any new subscribers, thanks for subscribing and uh, helps me out a lot. And um, any comments or any questions, or if anybody can figure out how to get rid of this thing here. Uh, I don't know why mine is defaulting to Adobe, but these are actually Rivet files. Project files. The family seem to be okay. But anyway, thanks for watching this video. Any comments, uh, put them in the comment section. Thank you, and have a good day. Bye.